Well, hello again. Yes, I've had time to make a couple of videos. So, um, I thought I'd just make a very quick video uh, which relates to the video that I put up before, um, the one about Roswell just now. So this one relates to the one called uh, Obama on UFOs and Mick West debunked question mark. And um, <clears throat> um, Mick West is uh, absolutely right. He's certainly not debunked. And the bit that I overlooked was, <laughs> I'm sure Mick West didn't overlook this, but um, this is not from the actual uh, videos in question. This is just uh, something telling us what all the stuff on this particular at Fleur pod uh, means. Okay, so when we see that Oh, I don't have my deluxe mechanical pencil on me. Never mind. Um, so this here, this is six degrees. This is showing six degrees. And if we look at the caption, it says sensor elevation aimed six degrees above aircraft axis. So on the um, Tic Tac video, that says minus 26 degrees. So that will be minus 26 degrees below the axis of the aircraft. Okay, of course, it would be, it would have to be really wake up mumbling because the aircraft moves in three dimensions. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> but uh, through the uh, through the Tic Tac video, we see that the aircraft, the aircraft remains, it's, it does start to turn very slightly. But the altitude remains at 25,000 feet. So it's in a turn, but it's still at 25,000 feet. So the axis of the aircraft is still at 25,000 feet. So it's looking down at 26 degrees from that axis. From that axis. <laughs> so, uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the trig referenced from the aircraft axis, it makes the tic tac uh, 13,000 uh, feet in the air, 13,281, 13, and I'll just go to the whiteboard and uh, and show you that um, uh, the numbers in action. All right, now uh, <clears throat> I did a video last week or the week before called. Uh, Obama on UFOs and Mick West debunked question mark and uh, I did a I was using Mick West's numbers and did a bit of trig to uh, uh, get a different answer to Mick West and that was um, there's the altitude of the aircraft there's the look down angle there's the altitude of the Tic Tac. This was 25,000 feet. There's our F-18. This was 26 degrees. Uh, this was 64 degrees. And this is 90 degrees. And <clears throat> if you say this is 4.4 nautical miles, And then you do the sine of 64. So you go sine 64 equals. So sine 64 equals 0 0.8987. You multiply that by 4.4 .4 and it equals. Three point nine five, so that's three point nine five nautical miles times six zero seven six point one two to turn that into feet. Equals twenty four thousand and twenty nine. So you subtract. Uh, you subtract 24,029 from 25,000 and you get 971 feet, okay? Because this, this distance from there to there is 24,029 feet. 
Okay, and I thought, well, <clears throat> this <coughs> this gives a low altitude. This is what the pilots were reporting. And Mick West did it the other way around. His tri triangle was the other way up, so his 26 degrees was here, and it was like that. Um, and his 26 degrees was here, and he got 1.9... 1.92 uh, nautical miles for that uh, for that distance there. For that distance there, okay. So, which then made the object 13,000 feet in the air. Okay, so which one is correct? Now, <clears throat> I've since found out, and I should have known better really, because Mick West is a very clever chap, and I didn't really expect him to be wrong that uh, in, in part of Mick West's video, he shows the head-up display and the, the angle, um, the look-down angle, and what it's referenced to. And it's actually referenced to the axis of the aircraft, OK? So if it's referenced to the axis of the aircraft, <coughs> that is going to be the 26 degrees there, not there. So by doing what I did, because remember, this, this is going to be 90 degrees as well, so this is going to be 64 degrees <laughs> that I've got down there, will be up there. So if you consider the axis of the aircraft, and then this becomes 26 degrees, then uh, Mick West's um, trig works just fine. So uh, <clears throat> Mick West debunked question mark? Uh, no. Mick West is not incorrect. Now this is, uh, I haven't done anything like this for a very long time, but this is still very simple trigonometry. It's trigonometry 101, probably an introduction to trigonometry. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably not as advanced as trigonometry 101, okay? So when, uh, when you use the numbers that Mick West used, in the way that Mick West used them, so you've got the, <coughs> you've got, Excuse me, you've got the F-18. There's the axis of the aircraft. OK, it's looking down at 26 degrees. It's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. That's going to be like that. That's going to be 64 degrees. That's going to be 90 degrees because that's supposed, supposed to be a vertical line. I know it looks a bit like a flag pennant, but you get the gist. It actually looks like the picture has rotated around slightly on the camera. I don't quite know why that is, but, um, hmm, OK. And if you do it this way, um, this becomes 4.4 nautical miles. That's 26 degrees there. Then you get exactly the same number that Mick West got. So, you go sine 26 equals... So, sine 26 equals... 0 0.4383. You multiply that by 4.4 and it equals 1.92. So to convert that to feet, we multiply that. Multiply that by 6076.12. equals 11,719 and some change, OK? So the distance between there, which is the aircraft axis, and there, 11,719. Now, we know this is 25,000 feet, don't we? So we, multi we uh, <coughs> subtract, rather. <laughs> we subtract. <laughs> 25,000 minus 11,719 feet. And the height of our tic-tac is 13,281 feet. So there we go. So the tic-tac is <coughs> not low to the ground. It's 13,281 feet in the air. So anybody should be able to do that. I mean, as I say, you know, I haven't done this for a long time. If I can do it, anybody can. Um, so why can't the American government? 
look at that and say just look use the numbers that are on the head-up display and say well whoa, wait a minute this is not low As I haven't looked at how fast it's going still um, but just by a quick look at it and you know the way that the aircraft is uh, the aircraft is sort of going along that way it's seeing it at that angle and it's sort of coming round and it's sort of looking like that it sort of suggests that this is uh, not moving very fast if at all all right well uh, maybe i'll look at the speed of the object another time that's a little diff that's a, that's a little more difficult this is extremely easy especially with a calculator which is why i'm doing it if there was too much effort involved i'd rely on what everybody else said <laughs> so there we go mick west debunked no definitely not um I think um, I think Thunderfoot is probably wrong because he said it's a duck flying at 8,000 feet. Um, the, the display is set to black hot, I think, and it's a white dot. So I think something, I think a bird flapping like mad to uh, uh, to, fl to keep an altitude of 8,000 feet out would be quite warm. So um, yeah, I don't think it's a bird. I think uh, Mick West is probably right. It's probably a balloon. All right. Well, as always. Uh, Whatever it is, it's not an alien spacecraft travelling low and fast. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll catch you again.